Ever wonder why some engines can scream at 20,000 revolutions per minute, while others struggle to reach 7,000? It all comes down to engine design, materials, and purpose. High revving engines, like those in superbikes and high performance sports cars, are built to make power through speed, not just brute force. Take the engine in a Yamaha R6, a 600 cubic centimeter inline four that can rev to around 16,000 revolutions per minute. It uses lightweight pistons, a short stroke, and titanium valves to reduce mass and handle extreme forces. This allows the engine to spin faster and create more power by burning more fuel and air every second. Now, compare that to a large V8 muscle car engine, like the one in a classic Ford Mustang. It might have eight liters of displacement, but it rarely revs above 7,000 revolutions per minute. That's because it's designed for torque fluent, power, and instant throttle response. The bigger the engine's cylinders, the heavier the parts, and the more force they create. At high speeds, that mass becomes a problem, risking catastrophic failure if the engine spins too fast. That's why some motorcycles, like the Ducati Panago V4, use super short piston strokes and ultralight materials, letting them hit nearly 14,000 revolutions per minute. And in Formula One, cars like the Ferrari F2004 once hit 19,000 revolutions per minute, thanks to tiny high-reeving V10s that were basically race tuned precision instruments. So next time you hear a high-reeving engine scream, just remember, it's all about design, balance, and finding the limits of engineering. Stay curious.